see Monday Night Softball presented by Regents. The crowd started lining up a couple hours before the gates opened up here at Jack Turner Stadium in Athens. Third ranked Georgia hosting number 20 Arkansas. It's a mic'd up Monday and the rubber game of a three game series. Reagan Johnson leading off. Flared out towards left center field, but drifting that way. Jaden Goodwin makes the catch. Two pitches to get the first out of the game. The crowd is making the noise that Kerpich usually makes. She's not making that noise since she's pitching right now. Ball's hit well. Deep right field. Kearney at the fence. Gone. Third of the year for Reagan Kramer. And just like two days ago, the Razorbacks get a home run in the first inning. On a 2-1 count, Kerpix is going to use the outer half and the edge of the plate and just doesn't get it out or up enough. It's a screwball. It's supposed to be running away from Kramer. Instead, Kramer gets around it and just blasts this ball out of the park. And you're right, Mark, when you think of home run power, you're not thinking the two hole. You're thinking Bree Ellis, the three hole. They have an opportunity to get a look at their uh, Georgia Dogs, number three in the country. Off speed pitch, rolled softly towards Armistead. Oh, throws. And gets the out at first. Armistead got enough on that throw. It, it, <laughs> it put her on her. Didn't come out and use the soft stuff quick enough. Hot shot skips into the glove of Sarah Mosley. They throw out Miller, who hit that one hard. But close to 500. Speed, Heron gets strike three. Davis goes down looking for the first out. And that's when it. Going to send a 2 2 pitch to Mosley. Mosley hits it in the air to right center field. Plenty of room for Reagan Johnson, the center fielder. Two outs. What else can we ex. Two strikeouts in the inning for Robin Heron. 1-0 Razorbacks after one in Athens. Now, start the game for Arkansas. Pitches as well. That ball is blasted into the construction zone. Home run. Number nine for Hannah Gamble and a pair of solo homers the start of the night for the Razorbacks. Hannah Gamble has always had a lot of power. You can't let that batting average fool you. Hitting two mark, it's all that power. Her ninth home run. This is a 3-2 pitch. It's a rise ball. A little bit too close to the zone. And at three and two, you're not wanting to walk the leadoff hitter. You get a little bit too sweet. Not enough movement. And Gamble punishes it. Well, we mentioned the leash was probably leash was probably going to be short, really on both sides. Tony Baldwin has come out, and he's going to make a pitching change. It's been a tight series. Out to Armistead, it's short. Ellis throws a strike for the first out. Well, and Mark, to your point, so Bree Ellis with that three-run home run in the first inning of Game One. Really, there wasn't a whole lot. Bruce? Got a twin sister peeking through there. Yeah. <laughs> Lauren. Ground ball towards short over to gather that Ellie Armistead. <laughs> Two away. Well, that's really what Georgia needed after a couple of long home runs. Softly hit. Armistead, longer throw, stretch by Digby side retired. So Walters comes in, retires all three she faced, but can't say that has been a home run higher for the Razorbacks. Absolutely. Grand slam higher. First pitch swinging. Little floater out in the foul ground. And Heron typically attacks the top of the zone. That is that rise ball, but the shading at the lower half is also her changeup. That's in play in foul territory for Reagan Kramer. So two foul ball. I bet Georgia felt the same way they were going to see Lance Stockton. Probably will at some point. That ball's dumped into right field. Ellie Armistead has the first hit of the game for the Dogs. So two outs by shoulder. There's ball four, a five-pitch walk. 
from Robin Heron, her first free pass that she used. A little base hit to right for Armistead. Has kept it going, and that ball's hit to center field, and it's going to stay in the park for Reagan Johnson. So a couple of two-out base runners. Dogstrand both after two. They pick up those bats again. First pitch swinging, Lauren Cannon's in. Long hop to Digby. Hits it past the draw, and Mosley at third. And a base hit for Reagan Johnson. Well, all the infielders were playing in because of the speed of Johnson steals for her. So he's not running, and it's ball four to Kramer, who's on base for a second time in the first walk issued. Stake. Tenth pitch of the at bat coming from Walters to Ellis. Popped up in foul ground. Mosley has enough room to make the catch. What a battle. Ellis got under it and fouls out. Nailing the inside corner to retire the side. So the Hogs threaten. History like that, usually good things happen. Chamblee rolls it behind third. Gamble. Oh, Ellis unable to dig it out. Even had she, I don't think they were going to get Chamblee at first base. Just two strikes. On the infield, Lauren Kamen's in. Shortstop squeezes it for the first out. Softly out at second. And as she pulled her off the bag. A chance for an inning ending double play. Lauren Kamenzen took it to the base and then. Corny. Deep right. Tie game. where Georgia capitalizes on the ability for Kearney to come up instead of an inning ending double play. A throw offline gives Jada Kearney the opportunity to strike and she certainly does. Going to take this pitch. It's right in her wheelhouse. She goes inside out. She's one of the best at hitting left handed pitchers because she loves to go inside out anyway. She barrels that ball up on the inner lower half and when you do that the ball's going to jump out of the yard, and that is just textbook Jada Kearney home run hitting right there for the senior. Fourth home run Heron is allowed this year. It was just a tough play, unfortunately, for the Razorbacks. So Making the pitchers work hard. Out to shortstop, Armistead just on the edge of the outfield grass. Missouri's been having a good year. Started off the season unranked and made their way into it. Halverson gets enough of that to get it out to center, and it's trapped by Chambly. That's a base hit for Kylie Halverson. Yeah. Haven't really expanded the zone, haven't chased pitches out of the zone. Chopped out to second base, Kuma tag. Oh, Halverson tried to avoid the Kuma tag, but Sydney laid it on her, and it's a 4 3 DP. Yeah. Foul tip into the glove. There's a strikeout. That's that up in the zone with that curveball and with. Line stock, it's all down and off. Foul ball. Gamble fielded it just to the left of the line. Stuff down, pitches out of the zone or in the shadow zone, we like to say. Left field, it's going to hang up there for Reagan Kramer. Off the bat, looked like it had a chance to go yeah. a little further than that. Third base, snagged by Gamble. This throw is a good one to retire the side. Now in order with Georgia in the fourth, we'll head to the fifth. Transfer from North Carolina. Mm -hmm. 
Behind third base is the shortstop on the infield dirt. Armistead squeezes it. That's a foul. Out to Kuma, knocks it down, has time, and then wide throw. And Cammons in is on. To short, Armistead, good play. It was not a routine play. It was an in-between hop. Armistead moves up, and it's been great crowds. Big 3-2 pitch. Regan Kramer's on base for a third time tonight. There's some three different pitchers, and it's going to get Bree Ellis. And we're batting the third. She fouled out. That was 10 or 11 pitches. And that at bat. It's all came from Shelby Walters. That's in the left field. Base hit. Waving around third. Here comes the throw. Home safe. Good one. A great one hop throw right to Miller. But the speed, Kamenzen got in just ahead of the tag, and the Razorbacks are back in front, three to two. Something hard and just attack. It's a rise ball. She gets that barrel upstairs to it and just loops it into left field. And Goodwin does a good job of really coming over because she was shifted a little bit more up into that gap area. Throw comes in, and Kamenzen getting to the back of the dish. Good job by Miller. Strikes her out on the off-speed pitch. But out towards center, oh. diving catch. Kylie Halverson takes a hit away from Emily Digby. And the Razorbacks get the leadoff batter out here in the fifth. The leadoff in the lower in the eight, eight hole. Chambly to left right there, Reagan Kramer. Two outs. Back to line stop. Wasn't the best underhand toss uh, in the history of the game, but it got the job done. And they mm -hmm. look at big picture of women's basketball tonight, front and center on ESPN. There's a ground ball to short. Armistead throws off Gamel. Yeah. And, and I mentioned that, so I'm, I'm trusting people with multi view. That's right. Since you got LSU Iowa going on right now, ESPN line drive right over the head of Jaden Goodwin. Halverson trying for second. Oh! A good one just missed throwing out Cammons. Yeah! On the tenth pitch, Anna Cammons in pulled out on strikes. Base hit left field. Reagan Kramer able to cut it off. Soft. Yes, that last one was soft, so. It was line stock bring on 2 2. <laughs> Strike three on the outside corner. Six foot two frame. Perception of it. 53 miles per hour. It was up, but it was enough away. An hour. Up the middle, base hit for Goodwin. On her way to third goes to Villa. Goodwin, Georgia. Trailing 3-2, bottom of the sixth. Rubber game of the series from Athens. Little floater out to short. And Lauren Kamenzen makes the catch. And Lion Stock and of Mosley. After DeVille ran for her. Right back on a line to Bacchus. Rare mistake by Kuma. That's going to be over the head of Kuma and into right center field. Lauren Cammons in as her first hit of the series. Back in the third. And she slaps that in the left, so it's the first multi-hit inning of the game for the Razorbacks. Hammonds in. 
Warren came and Zinna Johnson on base, roll to Kuma. All right, now you've got first base open with Ellis coming up. This should be the load the bases with two outs. And bring up Kennedy Miller. And that hit Kennedy Miller and will force in a run. The block by Marissa Miller to keep that ball in front of her. The base is loaded, two outs and a run in. Gamble, deep drive left field and the dagger. Grand slam, Hannah Gamble, her second homer of the game. Hannah Gamble. Gamble. This was a no doubter off the bat. Well, she knew what she was hunting. She was off the plate looking for that pitch, not looking to get hit, looking to do this. Tattoo it out of the yard. Hannah Gamble, just so much power, had this amazing freshman year, has struggled a little bit in the batting average department the last couple years, definitely not in the power department, and that is what you get from a swing. It's after the Gamble Grand Slam. Oster hanging around. There's another hit by pitch. That one gets Radcliffe. Off of her picks. Walters really did a great job going one time through the lineup. Was pulled for Bacchus. The big bats are going to have to pick it up here for Georgia. Nine batters. In the right field. Hannah Kamen's in. Read that off the bat well and met it. Figure that. Another chance here. Hannah makes another play. Two down and Georgia. A strikeout ends it. And Arkansas, big late, put it away with five in the seventh and they win the rubber game of the three game series in Athens. I have final of eight to two. Yeah, Arkansas, just a really good series all the way around. Had great pitching, had the timely hitting when they need it. In Athens, and that's not April Fools. That is not April Fools. <laughs> hey, don't forget, great women's college hoops on ESPN.